to everyone for coming out. I would like to introduce Kevin Bissett, president of the Green Mountain Bicycle Club. So I'm, I'm Kevin Bissett, I'm the president of the Green Mount Bicycle Club. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. This is, uh, this is really touching. Um, I, I just, I, yeah, it's just incredible seeing everybody here. Um, you know, as we know, there were two tragedies last week, and uh, it's rocked the community of Hinesburg, surrounding communities, Um, students, faculty, uh, parents, it's just, it's been a, it's been a trying week and the focus of uh, John Williams and I, John is the Vice President of GMBC, as our focus, our mission has been to put this, to put this event on. Um, it, I, and I hope that, you know, with all of us being together, it will uh, kind of help the breathing prop, breathing, breathing grieving process and, uh, and maybe bring a little bit of closure. Um, I'd also like to extend um, some heartfelt thanks to Chief Goss from Hinesburg PD, from Lieutenant Gary Scott from the Vermont State Police, um, from Sadie at the Shalott Hinesburg uh, Citizen Paper, um, Liz Marie at Bronson Free Press, and Alex Keith at DPR, and also the CBU principal Jeff Evans. Um, we've all been working together to put this on and staying in touch. And uh, I guess it's been it's been wonderful working with you guys. Um, at this part, uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce John Williams again. He's the uh, GMBC vice president, and he knew Richard really, really well. And uh, John. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, I may need to take, take a couple deep breaths. I uh, apologize. I may read some of this because I'm afraid I could lose my Louder. thoughts. Hold. Could lose my. <laughs> I don't want to lose my train of thought, so if I'm if I'm looking at my notes, uh, that's why. Uh, uh, just building on Kevin. Thank you so much. A lot of you I know, some I don't. I've seen your names on the list, sir. <laughs> I've met some of you for the first time today. <clears throat> some of you may have known Richard much more intimately, <clears throat> you know, or, or over a longer period of time than I did. I just met Nicole over here. She went to school with Richard, and I believe came up from Alabama for this, right here. Um, like I said, many of you may have known Richard more than I or longer. Uh, the thing about Richard is that he touched a lot of our lives. Um, I feel for the, all of you. Richard has a mom and dad. They're in Alabama. They're not here today as far as I know. <laughs> um, but here in Vermont, uh, what I feel is that Richard's family is right here. So, a little bit of good news. Yesterday was a beautiful day. I saw so many, so many cyclists out. It was great. Everybody in their colors, having fun, enjoying the day. That was awesome. Bridget would have loved that. Here's the sad news. Richard wasn't able to do that. A week ago, almost this moment, Richard lost his life. Three, four hundred yards from his house <clears throat> as he was heading out for a ride on a Sunday morning, a time when you might think it would be quiet, peaceful on the roads. 
Heroic efforts were made to save Virgil's life. A doctor, he's here, uh, arrived on the scene, he's a neighbor, tried to save his life along with a nurse. My, head, my heart goes out to you. So I have a short story about Richard. Um, <laughs> Richard loved colors. We're all out here in the bright colors. He often used the word stunning, and I, for some reason that word struck me. I first met Richard at Earl Sudbury. So he helped me buy my first uh, carbon bike. It turned out to be an Orbea, which was orange and black, <laughs> and it was bright. So when it first came in, he said, wow, that is stunning. <laughs> so for some reason that word stuck with me. So that was about 10 years ago. Then I went back three years ago. Everyone has to get a new and maybe better bike. Um, I went back, tried some bikes. Richard, Richard actually gave me one of his bikes, a, a Scott Addict, that, uh, to try, see how I liked it. I actually settled on a Madone 6. So uh, Richard was kind of, Seemed like he was trying to steer me toward a uh, tangerine and white colored bike. So um, I actually agreed with him. But several days later, I started to think, ooh, <laughs> orange, tangerine orange and white, that's going to be really bright. I'm not that fast of a rider. I don't want to be, you know, really hanging out there in terms of, wow, look at me. <laughs> Uh, so I decided wanted to tone it down a little bit. So I went back. The order was already placed, and uh, well, I was able to tone it down. My bike's over here. You'll see it. It's blue and white Trek. So fortunately, the Trek company backed out the order. We were able to change the color scheme, and uh, I think Richard agrees that it was also stunning. <laughs> so. All right, so that's a little story about Richard. And, and just so you know, after this ride, the uh, PA system will be here for anyone that would like to share stories. There may be some more information that we <clears throat> put out there. Basically, the focus of this ride is Richard. We know there were two losses in this tragic event. The theme of the ride has really come down to, and this is suggested by someone, is to bring Richard home. We're going to go by his uh, actual apartment. That part is hard. So is seeing the crash site. Um, I have my own helmet and a pair of bike shoes there on his walkway. And you'll see them as we enter uh, his condo area. Uh, we'll be passing by that and going around a little loop. Be careful there. There's two speed humps that are pretty high as we go around. This is a huge, unbelievable Maybe the biggest I've seen of cyclists are going to be gathered together. So anyway, we're going to bring Richard home on this ride. And uh, we're going to follow now with Jessica Barnum here. She wrote a poem that was sent to Kevin and myself. And uh, it speaks to the losses that we've had here both within CVU, the Heinsberg, actually three ways, CVU, the Heinsberg community, and specifically Richard in our cycling community. So Jessica is going to coach us through the poem, a little coaching beforehand, and uh, then I think Kevin's going to take it back, and just to go over the, the details of the ride. Thank you, John. Good morning. I am a school teacher here at CVU. I'd like to thank Jeff for being here, colleagues and students, and all of you on bikes. This is a tribute to both Joseph and Richard as we roll out today. I wrote this poem in the aftermath of hearing the news. I woke up it was that Monday morning, and I was like, why am I going to school today when Joseph 
why am I going to get on my bike this afternoon? Richard isn't. And in the rawness of that emotion, I tried to surrender to what life hands us on any given day. And that's what I wrote. Thank you for listening. There's a colossal realm in our heart where a dart can piercingly puncture that juncture where the inquisition shakes hands with the answer in a twisted discomfort. What sick synchronicity is the universe staging when a teenager I know and a cyclist I know embrace in a dance of this tragic fate? I don't know, I don't know, Now I ask that you take your left hand to your heart. And in the yoga tradition, we say namaste, often at the end of practice. And it's a gesture of the light in me honors the light in you. So if we can, in our collective consciousness and our hearts, bow to namaste, Joseph and Richard. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, thank you, Jess. So I'll just give you just a quick rundown of what the ride, um, just a few details about the ride. Um, we're going to be <clears throat> traveling at maybe like 10 miles an hour, um, 10 to 12, nothing too fast. And uh, <clears throat> as we approach a crash site, um, we're going to slow. Um, we're not going to get off the bikes, though. Um, we're just going to slow. I'm actually I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to dismount and I will direct people, we'll be doing a U-turn about 100 meters south of the crash site. And I just ask that people uh, turn, you know, go by me and make the turn. Um, you know, please dismount your bikes um, if necessary and, uh, and, uh, and I think, uh, Yes, and as John said, <clears throat> we're going to virtually take Richard home to his condo, which will be on the right um, after we turn on to uh, the condo road there. And uh, so, anyway, again, I'll be dismounting at the turnaround point, and I'll just, you know, you guys can turn turn around me, and I'll be waving my arms and stuff like that. So, and just uh, <clears throat> please, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody's going to have Richard in there in there. In their souls and and uh, and uh, and again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, this is just very moving. Thank you. Hi there. Just uh, very quickly, uh, Richard's condo. As we move, uh, turn into the condo area. It's going to be the first set of condos on the right. His condo number is A3. I have a helmet there and have a pair of riding shoes on his walkway going in, so that will signal the spot that Richard lives. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you. For all those that are riding, we're going to ask you to carefully point your bike that direction south towards the stop sign and we will be having a Heinsberg police cruiser leading the ride off and we'll have a Vermont state police cruiser at the back. It's going to be a little chaotic getting started. We're going to ask Kevin Bissett to go to the front and lead the ride off along with John Bunch.